Hey everyone, welcome back. Now we're gonna move on to the next technique, important in agroforestry systems, which is pruning. Now pruning, you've heard us mention it a lot of times as well, and it can vary greatly from species to species, from moment to moment. So it actually could be a course of its own. Um, we're going to try to give you the very basic notions of pruning and we're going to show you a couple of different examples of pruning. Basically in agroforestry systems we use pruning as a means to maintain each species in its proper level, right? In its proper layer in the forest. And besides that, well, obviously for fruit trees we're always pruning to maintain an open canopy with enough airflow and sunlight going through it. For uh, uh, trees meant for wood production or just those trees that are meant for producing organic matter, we usually do a more radical pruning, um, just leaving very few branches to stimulate maximum, maximum productivity of organic matter. Okay. So first, I'm going to show you um, the pruning of a soursop or guayabana and then we're going to do a, a citrus pruning, okay? Um, this guayabana is still uh, a young tree, it hasn't started bearing fruit yet and here we've got the situation where we've got the guayabana, two eucalyptus and some coffee plants on the side, all right? And we've got citrus also close by. Uh, what we have to consider this, the eucalyptus is the emergent plant, guayabana occupies the high layer a bit to the medium layer, it stays in between high and medium and we've got coffee on the low layer. So this guayabana as you can see is almost as tall as the eucalyptus so I have to prune it back to put it in its proper place and allow the eucalyptus to really stay up there alone and shade the guayabana. So first thing I'm going to limit its height and then I'm going to shorten its branches a bit to stimulate um, lateral branching in each main branch because these are really the branches that are going to produce and bear fruit and also I'm going to open up sunlight. Uh, guayabana really needs it because it bears fruit close to the trunk, to the main trunk and all the, the lateral stems so we really need um, air circulation there and sunlight um, so let's get to it <laughs> 